Hi, I'm Anthony Vargas with Sound and Communications, and I'm here with uh, Nathan Legg, AVI SPL's Director of Corporate Communications. Thanks for being with us, Nathan. Thanks for having me, Anthony. Get it. So uh, we've been having a, uh, we've been doing a series of video chats with AV professionals just about how their companies are adapting to uh, the coronavirus pandemic and, you know, the new, the new normal of doing business under these uh, circumstances. So um, to start off our discussion, uh, Nathan, just tell me how AVI SBL's day-to-day uh, -day business has been affected by the crisis and uh, how you guys are continuing to do business under these uh, new guidelines for doing work. Sure. So uh, AVI SBL has been classified as a uh, essential business. So for us, the show still goes on. Um, obviously, there's uh, certain challenges. Uh, uh, that we have to go through, but um, many of our workforce is working from home uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, I think right now our uh, corporate headquarters is pretty much uh, just maybe one guy there <laughs> right now. So um, outside of that, um, you know, worrying about our field workers as well um, and, and taking the necessary precautions uh, to keep them uh, safe and, and ensuring their well being. Uh, but um, I think the, the main thing for us is that we're, we're encouraging our teams, you know, especially the leaders and teammates, uh, to, to stay engaged with each other. So uh, not just from a you know, professional standpoint of you know, what's, the, what's on the to-do list today, but also for personal reasons. You know, we, we're uh, considering mental health as uh, something that you know, could you know, impact our uh, daily lives just like this uh, uh, pandemic has already. Uh, so it's staying connected with the team, staying engaged. Uh, while you might still hold your regular business meetings, it's also uh, you know, holding virtual get-togethers. This morning I was a part of a virtual morning coffee uh, with, the, um, uh, with, with my marketing team. Um, and uh, you know, we also see other uh, offices, locations, uh, and uh, departments doing virtual happy hours or celebrating birthdays uh, virtually, things like that. So um, I think in times like these, a business's culture can be tested uh, you know, with such tough times, but uh, I think for AVI SPL, it's nice to see that we're uh, showing uh, that united strength. I'm, re I'm really glad you brought up the point of just making sure that everybody's prioritizing their mental health and also the uh, the personal connection between coworkers because it's it's not all about just doing business remotely. It's also about keeping up that rapport and uh, and like you said, the you, you find a lot, add a lot about a company culture when everybody kind of has to work remotely and everybody's trying to get together. Mm -hmm. um, so since you guys are, are classified as an essential business, you're still continuing to do uh, like field work, like installations and maintenance like that. We are uh, in a very safe manner, of course. You know, we've we discuss uh, the added hygienic measures that uh, our um, our workforce uh, needs to take. Um, having masks, gloves, um, practicing social distancing, not uh, congregating with uh, other uh, groups of uh, employees or groups of workers, things like that. Um, you know, and as an essential business, you know, we in the entire industry, and I think we're showing why we are that essential business. You know, we, we're still uh, working with hospitals and healthcare systems uh, to enhance their uh, communications and, and their collaboration tools uh, and to ensure that they're extremely busy, uh, you know, stretched out profession, uh, stretched out professionals are, uh, are updated with the critical information that they need. Uh, working with school districts, higher ed, um, you know, other institutions, uh, transferring their classes from from in the classroom to online, um, and then also companies uh, obviously need the tools to work from home, like I'm doing today, uh, like many of us are doing today, and make sure that uh, that remote workforce can thrive. And as far as just uh, the the day to day business operations and just how the uh, the pandemic might affect uh, business more broadly. Um, are you guys uh, concerned about, you know, supply chain issues that might arise as a result of maybe like a slowdown in international trade or anything like that? Not at this time. Um, obviously, anything could happen, especially the longer that we go. But one thing that we're really encouraged by is, um, you know, we have very strong relationships with our partners. So we're constantly communicating 
uh, with them. Um, we're, we're hearing not a lot of uh, concern with that right now. Um, and I think we're just very lucky to have those great partnerships um, because it, it helps us to ensure that we deliver for our customers that need us uh, now more than ever. And then uh, continuing on the topic of field work, um, you know, there, there has kind of been a slowdown across the board for most companies uh, when it comes to field work. You guys probably aren't as affected by that as other companies are since you guys are an essential business. But, um, you know, just with, with uh, everything that's going on, have you guys seen that you've had to emphasize certain aspects of your business and de-emphasize certain aspects of your business? Are you doing more of, say, like managed services or consulting? Are you uh, encouraging people to do more training? Uh, anything along those lines? Uh, so yeah, it's slowed down. Um, but you know, for most of our workforce, you know, there's, we're still uh, keeping busy. Uh, that includes our uh, field workers. Um, we've we've had a very solid backlog um, for a while now, so that's uh, obviously has helped us as well. So we're able to, you know, perform these services where possible. Um, but I, to your point, yes, we have encouraged workers to uh, use this time to build knowledge and, and hone their skills as well. Um, you know, that's, we've incorporated a, um, very good, uh, learning and development track. Uh, we have a, a great, uh, department of professionals that have put together tracks for, uh, different, um, uh, careers, whether it's, you know, our engineers, programmers, uh, program managers or project managers, um, and, and, and uh, and instances like that. Uh, so, uh, they offer those learning tracks um, uh, to make sure that they're updated on today's uh, and tomorrow's tech uh, certifications uh, and and anything else that could you know improve their day to day uh, performance and I, I guess professional growth, um, especially once we uh, uh, get back to whatever our new normal will be. And are, are you finding that um, certain clients in certain vertical markets, uh, maybe like, you know, education and, and uh, corporate immediately come to mind just because everybody's talking about working from home and learning from home and all that, but also even like remote worship for like worship clients. Uh, are any clients more interested in any of your service offerings as a result of the crisis? Are you seeing that uh, more people are coming to you to ask for consulting about like, you know, remote working technologies, UC technology, anything along those lines? Oh, uh, definitely for uh, remote working and distance learning and, and things of that nature. Um, I think, you know, I think the main thing that has uh, come from this, at least in terms of, you know, our uh, company and I'm, I'm guessing for our competitors as well, um, is that it shows that what we offer is no longer that nice to have, but a need to have. Um, and it's one of those, uh, you really saw people start to, want to ramp up that remote workforce. How can I get uh, all my workers online at the right time? Uh, you know, concerns about uh, bandwidth and things of uh, that nature as well. So uh, I guess you, know, you need to be able to communicate with teams, um, with your teams and, uh, and customers everywhere in the world, no matter what, uh, uh, what's going on in that world. Because I think um, you know, if we're still able to communicate uh, with uh, each other, you know, I think it's a, a nice way to continue to build that rapport and show that uh, we're all here for each other. Was there anything about like what your clients need in terms of service or, or consulting that kind of, you know, surprised you guys or like, you know, or was it all pretty much expected just like remote work kind of stuff? Um, the, that aspect was expected. I, I, I don't know if anything really surprised us because, you know, we've been, uh, championing uh, remote working and, um, and and distance learning and things like that for for a long time. Uh, but um, I, I would say one uptick we have seen would be for things like virtual events. Uh, so we have our um, uh, video link production and creative teams uh, that are able to uh, produce you know, uh, university commencements or company town halls uh, and, and things like that, that uh, that still bring the company together while not physically, but uh, in a virtual manner. And it's, um, it's basically just like watching TV. It's that high quality. So um, I think it's just a, 
a much better way to get your message across. And I think a lot of, of our customers are now familiar with that. And then just kind of as a final note, uh, Capper, for our conversation, uh, do you have any advice for your fellow AV professionals as they also continue to navigate this crisis? Uh, well, this is my first global pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I don't have, uh, you know, much experience with that, right? But, uh, nor most of us. But um, I would say that our industry is probably um you know, more capable of i don't want to say thriving through this but but getting through this together i think it's just a very close-knit community uh and if we just leverage that um you know and just realize that we're all here uh, as these essential businesses and you know applying what we know uh for the greater good of our global community i think uh i think we'll all get out of this and be very happy when we do <laughs> Very well said. Um, Nathan, thanks so much for your time and uh, for talking with us about this topic. And, uh, you know, we just really appreciate you doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Anthony. Anytime. Thanks.